Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is my conspiracy theory once again being confirmed about Erica Jane and Tom Girardi and how deep their corruption and their tentacles go, and if Erica can actually get an unbiased in her favor trial in California, or even in actually America, to be honest, at this point. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also be sure to share this with a friend, because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So this is according to the LA Times top FBI official in Los Angeles is silent about his and his mother's connection to Tom Girardi. Ugh. All right. Just as a quick refresh. I have been saying this since day one. Go back and watch my old videos. I have been saying this since day one, that my number one concern about Erica being tried in California, but even in, even in America, to be honest with you, I mean, I don't know where she can actually go to get a fair trial. Because again, the allegations against Tom Girardi is literally one of the, if not the, it might be the largest one, the largest, or one, I'll just say one of the largest, again, everything's alleged, rumored, opinion-based, but I'm going to read the receipts in the LA Times, okay? Um, criminal fraud charges that the state of California has ever seen. And don't forget, the guy who helped him in his contingency plan to make sure Erica Jane still had access to that blood money was a guy named Richard Lewis III, and he doesn't even live in California. <laughs> you know, he's just, you know, out here because again, it's in California, but their tentacles, the corruption, all of it is so deep and wide that it goes across everywhere. You know, the FBI is a federal, the entire America agency jurisdiction. It supersedes states. And what I've been saying since day one is that I was concerned that Erica would not get an unbiased, and by unbiased, I mean a trial that is not already in her favor because of how deep and insidious his corruption was. You know, are you going to be able to find a judge that hadn't been paid off by him or hadn't got any kickbacks by him or didn't get his, um, his or her, you know, appointment by Tom Girardi? You know, he had his, his pockets with lawyers, with executives. The freaking California State Bar had over 200 complaints about this man, and he was still a legal lawyer up until July of this year. And they had over 200 complaints against him. That's how deep it went. He was, you know, admitting people into the bar, looking at all that stuff. So, so deep. So, so deep. And so I've been saying since day one, is she going to get it off? Because people don't want their corruption, the skeletons in their closets. They don't want their um, livelihood, their reputation, their... Um, what do you call it, their their jobs, their careers to be put at stake if it's exposed that they were corrupted by Tom Girardi. Okay, so let's read the article and then we'll talk. Top FBI official in LA is it, um, in LA is silent about his and mom's connection to Tom Girardi. The FBI's Los Angeles field office which is leading the high profile um, investigation into rampant corruption at Tom Girardi's now defunct law firm is refusing to answer questions about the relationship among the agency's top local official, his mother and the disgraced legal legend. Was the mom, okay, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky. Everything is alleged, rumored, um, an opinion based, but was the mom smashing Tom Girardi? 
he had mistresses. One of his one of his mistresses was a top judge in California. And remember, she recused herself. She's taking a, hi a hiatus when everything came out. Was he smashing the mom? Let's let's continue. Donald Alway, the assistant director in charge of the field office, is the son of Girardi's former girlfriend and secretary. I mean, I you know what? I'm too freaking smart. I'm too freaking smart. Anyway, he's the son of Girardi's former girlfriend and secretary. So he was smashing the mom. He was smashing the mom. His mother, Michelle Alway, received hundreds of thousands of dollars from Girardi and his law firm during the mid 1990s, according to court papers. By that period, Girardi had already started misappropriating clients settlement money for his own purposes, a practice that continued into recent years, according to the court filings by the bankruptcy trustee, i.e. the money he was giving to the FBI's mom, the money, the FBI agent's mom, the money that he was giving to the FBI agent was money from clients, was blood money, was stolen money, was ill-gotten money, okay? Beyond the cash transfers, Girardi paid more than $131,000 toward the mortgage of Michelle Alway's home in Carmel by the Sea between 1993 and 1998, according to court filings in Girardi's divorce from his second wife. So he was married, smashing this chick, this was his chick on the side, and paying her, and, and in addition to giving her hundreds of thousands of dollars, he also basically paid off her house for one hundred and thirty-one thousand dollars. Oh, oh, oh! It gets worse. It gets worse. Monterey County real estate records show that Donald Alway, he is one of the top FBI local agents. By local, we mean, we mean here in California currently co-owns the residence with his mother and the property is valued at more than 1.2 million dollars you heard so this is what's up donald alway who is a top fbi agent here in california the same exact state that tom and erica and the CEO and the CFO who just got arrested are going to be tried. A top FBI agent here is living in a house he owns with his mother who was smashing Tom Girardi. That's worth over $1.2 million. And you're not gonna tell me that's not a conflict of interest. You're not gonna tell me that's not protection. You're not gonna tell me that's why Erica Jane is out here dipping it and doing it and laughing and playing in our faces. You're not gonna tell me that's why Tom Girardi gets to be in a, um, a very cushy, cushy nursing home in the OC while any other person on God's green earth would have been locked up a long time ago. When you have FBI agents in your pocket, FBI agents, and I'm not making this up. This is in the Los Angeles Times. You can go Google it yourself. It's in the LA Times. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Alway, okay, a former LA County Sheriff's deputy, deputy and this is Donald, this is um, who became the head of the local FBI office this summer refused an interview request to an FBI spokeswoman, Laura I. Miller. In a statement, I. Miller said Alway, quote, has not been involved in this investigation, which largely predates his time in the Los Angeles division. How convenient is that? What a PR statement is that? The timing and duration of the relationship between Michelle Alway and Girardi is unclear, and she could not be reached for comment. She was identified as Girardi's former girlfriend in a forensic accountant's report in Girardi's second divorce. So he was smashing, he was smashing mommy. He was smashing mommy. The attorney has been married three times, most recently to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, Erica Girardi. 
I. Miller said the investigation into Girardi's firm is led by the U.S. Attorney's Office in L.A. and and FBI Special Agent in Charge Brian Gilhooley. Gilhooley reports to Alway. Oh, oh, hold up. Oh my God. Oh my God. So the FBI agent who is in charge of investigating Tom Girardi in all of the shenanigans and the fraud and the scam is under reports to the same exact guy, Donald Alway, who Tom Girardi was smashing his mother, who Tom Girardi paid for the $1.2 million home that he lives in, that Tom Girardi funneled hundreds of thousands of dollars to his mother over decades in the 90s and 2000s. So I, if, so I have to investigate a man who is sleeping with my boss's mother. I have to investigate a man who paid for my boss's house. I have to investigate a man who gave my boss and his mother hundreds of thousands of dollars. How is that legal? How is that not the epitome of a conflict of interest? How is that legal? How is that legal? How is that legal? And this is the real kick. Asked whether Alway has recused himself, like has he was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should not be the boss on a case where I've known this man for the majority of my life. I've known this man because he sleeps with my mother. I know this man because the house I go to every night is bought and paid for by his blood money. Maybe I should, you know, sit this investigation out. The FBI spokeswoman did not respond, which means he's still the boss on the case, in my opinion. Because if he wasn't the boss on the case, why wouldn't they just say he recused himself? Conflict of interest. Federal law enforcement, including the FBI, have been conducting an, an investigation into the Girardi Keys law firm for years. The first public prosecution into the case was revealed last week when federal authorities filed a wire fraud charge against former Girardi Keys chief financial officer Chris Kamen. In court, Prosecutors described Cayman's alleged embezzlement of $10 million at the firm as a, quote, side fraud on a 100 million fraud perpetuated by multiple people connected with the law firm. Erica, you should be shaking in your boots unless the, unless the um, compromised FBI agent gets you out of it. So uh, honestly, Erica, anything you get dismissed on, if you skate out of this without going to jail, without having to pay a fine, we know why. How is this legal? How is this legal? And again, it's the tip of the iceberg, the, the CFO, um, a $10 million, they're saying that the $10 million was just the side fraud. That was the side piece. It's actually $100 million perpetuated by multiple people connected to the firm, a.k.a. Erica Jane Girardi and other people connected to the firm, Tom Girardi, other 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 co-counselors, other lawyers, other, you know, this, that, and the third. How is it legal? How? How? I'm so, like, I'm mad. I'm mad. Like, I'm, I'm literally, like, I'm shaking. I'm shaking right now. I'm so mad. But I mean, I hate being right, but I called this months ago. My old, we watched my old videos when I was talking about Erica Girardi, when she first came out saying, I'm vindicated, it's been dismissed. I said this months ago. I said, there's no way that we can guarantee that the people overseeing the investigation and the people overseeing the subsequent, um, you know, court hearings and trials 
have not been corrupted by Tom Girardi. I called this months ago. And now the LA Times is confirming it. It's sick. How is this legal? How is this legal? How in the world is this legal? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm going to do a quick outro for the people watching on the replay, but hang out my candy canes because I want to get to some of your comments and questions because I bet you guys are just as pissed as I am. So put your comments down below. You know, do you think that there should be some petition or not even a petition, but there just needs the FBI agent, Donald Alway, he has to rec recuse himself. This level of of conflict of, int of interest, this level of already being corrupted, this can't stand, right? So put it down below, what do you think? And this this also go further to our theories that Erica Jane is being protected. You know, she doesn't seem like a woman who's actually worried about a damn thing. Because maybe she knows she's protected and she's gonna get out of this. Because hell, you know, if you have an FBI agent in your pocket, what else do you really need? You know what I mean? If you have an if 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 the head of the FBI that is looking into your investigation home is paid for by Tom Girardi, what does Erica Jane have to worry about? So put it down below. Let me know what your thinks what your thoughts are. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. We have tons and tons of goodies down there, so go ahead and treat yourself. So with that, you guys, let's take some of